Guys, welcome back to Techno How Reviews and More. Today we have the ZTE Blade Z Max with us. There's a few settings that I think that you should change right out of the box, and we're going to talk a little bit about them. And then I have some uh, special things for you at the end, such as secret codes for your phone and a way to enable the UI tuner, which allows you to do some pretty cool things with your phone. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk about the settings that you should change right out of the box just to give you a better experience using your ZTE Blade Z Max. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is um, immediately when you get your device, you want to go in here click on settings then go to display and then you want to press the power button twice to unlock the camera and then after you do that if you hit the power button twice it will open up the camera really quickly that way if you need to take a snapshot of something that's happening extremely fast you know you have really quick access to your camera it works with the screen off it works with the screen on just double tap that camera two times pretty quickly and it opens up the camera application and you can take some pretty quick shots like that. So that's number one. So next is something that you should set up. It's called Smart Lock. And Smart Lock, what it basically does is it allows you to keep your device unlocked when it is safe or with you. So you Okay, so in the Smart Lock screen here, you have on-body detection, trusted places that you can set up, trusted devices, so when you're near a device like your uh, computer or your router or something like that, it will stay unlocked, and then trusted face, so it has set up facial recognition, this can be fooled with a picture, so, eh. and then trusted voice is pretty good about detecting your voice or, you know, other people's voice in your family that it knows, it trusts, and it will just stay unlocked. Okay, so in the security settings, still, we have make password visible. That's on by default. I suggest that you turn that off to make your device more secure. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is under backup and reset, and I'm not going to click it because then it'll show you my personal email address, and I don't want to do that. But if you click backup and reset up at the top, It'll have backup your device. You want to make sure that that is turned on. And then there's also a setting in there called automatic restore, which you want to make sure is turned on um, just in case anything happens with your phone and you have to reset it. It'll save all of your data, all of your settings, and then you'll be able to uh, pick up right where you left off instead of having to set up a whole new device. Okay, so as promised, now here come the uh, tricks or the settings that you might not know about that are really cool for your device. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is a hidden menu that's accessible on your ZTE Blade Z Max. I believe also Axon 7, uh, Blade V8 Pro, different uh, things like that. And it's going star 983 star 0 pound. And when you hit the pound button, it's going to bring you into this hidden menu and it gives you a bunch of tests you can complete. So you can click battery. It'll tell you your battery's discharging, battery levels at 98%, battery uh, scale goes up to 100, battery health is good, battery voltage being used. So it gives you statistics about your battery and you can choose to pass or fail it. I'm going to pass it. Now you can do your LCD test, which is basically going to take you through different colors to make sure that it's showing each color accurately. And then you can pass or fail it. I'll pass it. You can do your lights test, which will check your notification lights, a uh, uh, flashlight in the back, and different things of that nature. You can also check, check and make sure that your phone vibrates the right way. Key tests, SD and memory test, your Bluetooth address, radio information. I suggest that you don't change this stuff unless you know what you're doing. But if you're in a place where you get poor signal, you can go ahead and change these settings to help you get a better signal or run off of a different tower, but only if you really know what you're doing. Um, you can also test your camera, your FM radio. You can access your IMEI number here. You can test all the different sensors on your phone. You can test your fingerprint sensor as well, and you can get your Wi-Fi MAC address. 
um, all from hitting that star 983 star zero and then pound to show you the next trick is how to enable ui tuner so in order to do this you'll go into your settings menu here and you just want to stay here for a second then you're going to go ahead and pull the drop down menu and tap and hold this this the settings wheel there and it will spin and then tap and hold it again and now it says congratulations system ui tuner has been activated so if you go down to the bottom here you'll see system ui tuner if you click on it so once you get into the system ui tuner now you have access to three different options here it's do not disturb status bar and other or status bar do not disturb and other status bar you can choose different things that you want to show on your status bar like when bluetooth is on if you want the icon to show then you have it you know turned on volume same thing wi-fi same thing you can make the wi-fi notification disappear you see there watch the top of my uh status bar there the wi-fi will disappear so that's pretty cool uh your cell cellular data you can make that disappear if you want which i'm going to go ahead and do same with airplane mode and if you click battery you can choose to always show your battery percentage show battery percentage while charging only or don't show battery so you cannot show this icon completely and there goes your battery icon um, i go ahead and do always show battery percentage and just find it to work and in time you can show or hours minutes and seconds show hours and minutes or don't show the time icon at all so you can pretty much get rid of just about everything on your status bar if you want um, and then under do not disturb you can uh, choose to show with volume controls or volume button shortcut and then under other you have power notification controls so you have different five different levels and level five says as long as you turn it on uh, show at the top of the notification list always full screen interruption always peak level four is prevent full screen interruption always peak level three is prevent full screen interruption never peak level two is prevent full screen interruption never peak never make a sound and never vibrate and number level one is prevent full screen interruption never peak never make a sound or vibrate hide from the lock screen and status bar and show all of the buttons <coughs> and show at ah sorry show at the bottom of the notification list so that is your system ui tuner and then you can go ahead and remove this from settings if you want to and then your wi-fi or whatever you had done will go ahead and pop back up but you can leave it there if you want to and then everybody knows about this one but there's one last thing that i want to talk about and it's something that i do all the time with all of my devices and it particularly helps with this device feel a little bit more smooth a little bit more fast so you go into uh, settings you'll go into about phone you'll find your build number tap it one two three four five six seven and now you're a developer and what that means is that you have back in your settings menu right here by about phone and above software update you have developer options so you go ahead you turn your developer options on and then the only uh the only settings that I really mess with on developer options on most of my phones are these animation scales, right? So window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. You want to go ahead and make sure that all of those are on 0.5x and that will just help your phone feel a little bit uh, more speedy, a little bit quicker. The animations will be shorter and it will seem like everything that you do happens just a little bit quicker you can even go so far as to turn the animations off completely if you want to but let me go ahead and show you what happens if you turn them it was so we're on 0.5 if we turn them all to point animation scale to 2 just to give you a, a super idea of what this actually does okay so let's make sure that we get them all on 2 here and then now I'm going to hit the home button. See how slow that was? 
Um, I'm gonna going to open up. I'll open up the Play Store nice and slow. Some people like to have really nice, slow, smooth animations, right? Some people prefer the more quick uh, animations that you can get by. Let's go ahead and put it back to 0.5, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So let me see here. 0.5 and you can even turn them off as you see you can turn them off and then you won't have any animations at all And you'll just be able to get everywhere you want to go really fast But see how much quicker that is Makes your phone feel a lot more fast even though It's not necessarily a more fast phone just because you do that It does make it feel more fast guys if you like the video if you found anything I showed you helpful um, Hit the like button leave me a comment below if there's anything uh, else that you would like to see with this phone. I also have the full review of this phone up along with a camera review. You'll be able to check those out right here. Um, so please subscribe, hit the like button, notification button, share the video, and everybody have a blessed day. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.